Hi guys, called out to Larbert and Kinnaird Village again for another leaking gibbet system. They're obviously housing estates filled with these. So all three in this property were leaking. So what I'm going to show you is, you disconnect the front panel and I'll show you what we do, how I fix them. So cut the silicon, take out the side screws of the pan. Some some of these properties, the plumbers are actually replacing the whole cisterns, but it doesn't really need replaced. All you need is the, the rubber seals and the plastic o-ring and it's actually only you know three pound for the fittings so isolate the water shut it off so when you disconnect the toilet and change the seals no water kind of pours up and comes through this is where it's been leaking from you i'll show you there's a wee drip there and that's where the seals are up in that intake that's the kind of damage it can cause, mould, the whole, it can ruin your whole bathroom pretty much for just a simple £3 job. Pop this out, it's actually really easy. That's what the seals look like, just a wee bit of plastic and rubber, that's all that holds it in. And I'll show you in a second how I pull them out. Again, it's also very easy to pull out. But the main thing is to remember when you come out, see on the packet, if you buy them yourself, it actually comes with instructions on how it sits in. There you go, pop that out, no problem. So when you get the new ones, I advise getting some silicon grease, it can easily be picked up for screw fix or anywhere else, and it's quite, it's not very expensive either. Grease up the rubbers, because what happens is if you put it in dry, you'll force the rubber up, or even worse, you'll tear it, and then you're back to square one, because sometimes you have to order these. You can easily order them on Amazon, my local merchant stocks them at HPP Falkirk, so that can be picked up for there as well. We shout out for they guys because they, they treat me well. So, next of all, you're going to push them up and in. It's easy. I prefer, if I'm being honest, is to squeeze that little O-ring. As you can see how it sits here. Look, that sits in like that. sits in like a little seat. And I just kind of put it up at an angle, and it literally just clicks in. It's so easy. Then rub your finger around it and just make sure that it's in properly. Then next you'll get your flush pipe and lube that up. Again, just for ease, it makes it so much easier and causes you less hassle. And then you just pop that in. Simple as that. And then next I'll, I'll lube up the little cone here, the little black cone in the edge that slips into the back of the toilet. That just again helps it easy, just helps the toilet slide in and out without any trouble. And it also stops the rubber catching and squishing or causing any leaks, in my personal opinion. Next of all, we'll temporarily connect the toilet back up without putting the panel on. And then we'll flush the toilet and make sure all the connections are right home. I like to give it a little semi-flush to get some water through it, just make sure it's all okay and it's totally fine. There you go, a little flush through it and it's perfect. I normally flush them about seven times to make sure they're perfect. There we have it. A nice easy repair for the sake of £3.20.